What's up everybody? Thanks for watching today, baby. So we are just wrapping something up here. Look at how beauty she is. It's a sad but happy day over here. Let's talk about it, baby. I am back. All right. So what I did right there, uh, I just recorded that quick little video clip because I had the customer on his way um, with a check for that vehicle, 2014 Chevy Corvette. So as I mentioned in my last video, um, I drove out of state to get that car and I paid $37,500 for that car. And... I had listed the car after I put my custom wheels on there. So those were extra and I valued those wheels at $2,000. It's what I could have probably sold them for in the after, in the, just in the local market. So um, I wanted to get rid of those wheels. So I put them on the car and just bumped the price up a little higher than I would have if I didn't have those on. So at that point, I would consider me being into that car $39,500. Um, okay, I put the car up for $43,000, I sold it for $42,000, and I still have the stock chrome wheels and tires, so I had the whole setup that was on the car, and those are worth about $1,000 at least. So, I sold it for $42,000, plus I have $1,000 worth of wheels to sell, that's $43,000 basically that I got for the car. So, I, if I was into it $39,500, sold it for $43,000. That means all in all, after everything's said and done, I will have profited $3,500 from that car. So while spending four, you know, $40,000 to make $3,500 isn't the best, <laughs> it, it certainly isn't the worst. I mean, $3,500, that's a pretty big chunk of profit to make on one vehicle, especially where it didn't need any like mechanical work done. All I really did was tinkered with it one weekend and threw my wheels on and called it good. So you be the judge, guys. Is $3,500 worth spending that kind of money? Um, as I mentioned in my previous video, I bought that car mostly to just kind of hold me over until I get my next vehicle. Um, but I just wanted to throw it up to see if I could get rid of it. Um, currently, manual Corvettes like that are extremely hard to find. Uh, there is now only one other one and it's not even in the same state that I'm in. You'd have to travel to get the other one that is on the website that I list cars on. So they're getting very rare. It's mostly automatics because everybody knows the new body style that's coming out this this year, 2020. Um, they're not going to make them in manuals anymore. So manual Corvette values, if you guys are into buying and selling Corvettes, make sure you get a manual because that's going to be the way to go from here. And I can definitely notice a huge change in um i had a lot of people get a hold of me on that car but obviously more expensive cars not everybody can afford so it's gonna take sometimes it could take more time to sell that car so i had that car probably on the market for a total of i would say four to five weeks probably maybe six weeks and in that time, I probably had three people every week getting a hold of me on the car, talking about wanting to come out and see it. And other than the guy that bought it, I only had one other guy actually come out and see it. Um, and then that guy ended up trying to lowball me at 37.5 on that car. So pretty much he was trying to pay me what I paid for it. Um, and I just laughed at him. I told him that that's never gonna happen. So he and he started sending me all kinds of other um vehicles that weren't even in the state and they didn't have any of the stuff that mine had they were like base models and he's like look i can get it for this i said then you look like you might want to take a road trip then because my car is you can verify the condition you've seen the car you drove the car my car is in excellent excellent condition i i can't comment on what those cars conditions are i just all i know is that my car is here it's the right color it has all the options so people are always going to try to lowball you. Not always, you know, sometimes they don't, but yeah, it worked out great. The guy loves the car. He actually has a older Stingray. So he now has two Stingrays. So I'm, I, th I was like, dang, you got a good, good little collection going here. <laughs> so yeah, just wanted to let you guys know kind of um, how that deal went. 
and I'll be looking for my next Corvette ASAP. Hopefully I can find another one to replace that one really soon. Um, I would love to get my hands on a Z06, but they seem to be holding their value pretty well right now. And I think it's because uh, with that new body style coming out, like I said, they're not gonna have them in manuals. So if I could find myself a manual Z06, that's the car I really want. Supercharged, 650 horsepower stock. That's the one I'm gonna be looking for. So if any of you guys out there know of a good, a really good condition C7, which is 2015 through 2019 Corvette Z06 with a manual transmission, it must be in good shape. I would love to get a red one, um, but I'm open to maybe other colors as well. If any of you guys out there that see this know of that car, please let me know and, and uh, send me a message down below or, or I mean post in the comments so I can get a hold of the people or just you can send a link if you see a car ad you can also post that down in the comments so thanks for watching guys have a great day